Well, the Guru and Denny, they went to crack of dawn this morning. Five o'clock. I couldn't make five o'clock. It's nine o'clock now. Should be dead low tide here on the bay. I'm getting ready to ride down here and check it. But we got some breeze. I don't know if I can uh, make all this breeze or not. Well, we're going to go see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mmm, rough as bricks. Well, not really, but you know, it's rough for where I want to go. Everything would be crashing over my face and in my face and over the top of the CTX and etc. etc. Stand by while I contemplate. Well, the tide was high, not high, but you know, rough every place I went, so I decided not to go. I'm headed home now. I've got to, uh, I got a call though from a guy that lives about 15 minutes from me. He's got five or six, seven knives he wants me to sharpen for him today, so he said I could pick them up after 11. It's about, uh, I don't even really know, 10, 9 30, 10 o'clock now. I'm back at the Rancho Max. I'm gonna go pick those knives up and sharpen them. Stand by. Well, me and Jack just went and picked up those knives. Man, this guy's got a flock of knives. I ain't counting them, it's about like eight, or nine, or seven, I don't know. Heckles. Two serrated, three straight bladed. A whole bunch of heckles. I'll get them out in a minute until I put Jack in the house. Stand by. So it ends up being six. Too serrated. I told him I'd get him back to him about three or four o'clock. The shade after. It's almost noon now. Okay, I gotta go to work. See y'all in a little while. As I was working on those other six knives, my, my fishing buddies came by with a big old Victorinox. You can't see it, but it's ground out, somebody ground it out, but it's a Victor Knox. I just sharpened it up for him. She is a big sucker. She's sharp too. Boy. Okay, stand by. Well, there's all the Durek's knives finished. What are you barking at? Oh, I see. He got a ball in his mouth. He wants to play ball. Come on out here, he said. 